Greg Vaughn in the studio, WRCA folks in the studio with me, Lehman Wall, Peyton Fleming, Casey Martinez. Ah. <laughs> All right, New Mexico Governor, Sarah Martinez, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you did that. Craig Vaughn, well, you're the man. Tra- <laughs> Traveling all the way up to, to I, I looked on the map. I thought it would be even more north, as cold as Peyton was saying it was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, you know, if you're, I guess, used to being around Amarillo, and then you drive up to, if it drops 10 degrees on the way up, it's going to feel pretty cold, I guess. With the Medicine, Medicine Lodge, Kansas. Yes, sir. Kansas uh, Championship Ranch Rodeo. Kansas Championship. Yeah. Now, they... Uh, how many? How many teams? I, it just sounds big when you say like a whole state. You know what I mean? Is it? Was there twenty teams there? Was there? Was the normal about the normal fifteen? <laughs> no, there was only twelve. Okay. Um, was, now, now you say only twelve, but it, a lot of that I'm guessing is because some of these guys have already qualified, so they probably are, are well, looking at. Well, the way they run it there is only Kansas teams can come. Okay. So it's kind of a closed rodeo for Kansas, and so we actually had a circumstance where. Five of the teams that were already like in championship entered in Medicine Lodge have made it to championship. Oh wow! So it was a you know kind of sweating bullets for a yeah. little bit, but um, is, uh, it all worked out great. So worked out wonderful. Is, <laughs> is Kansas dominating this year with the? It, are the are it compared to? Do do you guys do keep a state by state tally? Actually, yeah, I haven't done it. Have you done it? I haven't done it yet, <laughs> but. It's getting that yeah, time. We, we got to start pulling flags out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting championship ready. So. Yeah. yeah, Kansas is a competitive bunch yeah. of folks, and, and we got some good rodeos up there. So, you folks from Kansas come see us at championship. You get to root on your hometown well, folks. The funny yeah. thing is, they give me a hard time from being from Kansas, but then we get to come here and represent pretty good. So, <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> hey, where's New Mexico and all that? I know. Too. Where is New Mexico? <laughs> are they still a state? Case? Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> what do you got? Part of our entry. At championship, all the New Mexico teams have to bring their passports just so we make sure. Um, yeah, because, you know, Hooper and, you know, Rusk, because, you know, those are actually Spanish names from way back. But, yeah, we'll be here. Oh, New Mexico, the Zia will be in the house. The I'm just messing. We love our – we got so many good folks that come over from New Mexico. It's all good fun. Good, clean fun. Uh, but, medicine uh, line. This this rodeo is part of a bigger, a big a, event up there. Yeah, and Peyton, at least every few years. Yeah, <laughs> Peyton got to experience it. The, every three years, Peyton. Yeah. Every three years, they have the peace treaty yeah. that goes on up there in Medicine Lodge. You know, and this little community just blows up yeah. uh, whenever all this happens. But kind of a cool deal. I know you got to kind of be a part of some of it and help out. What all do you see? What all? Did you smoke a peace you pipe? Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, there's really not too many Indians that run around. It's just people that dress like Indians. Uh, I got so, you, you know. got you. Well, that's true. But um, you know, it it was really a cool deal. They kind of shut Main Street down and food vendors. And um, Earl, who's actually on our board, is an outstanding artist, and he had an art show going oh, on, cool. Western Art Show, and had a couple other guys in there with him, and. Um, it was just really neat to see all the Western art and kind of everything come together. And, you know, during the day you're hearing gunshots go off and it's just cause they're doing that peace treaty out in the amphitheater, um, yeah. just South of the, the rodeo arena and uh, the storyline and the, the history that goes on in that town and just that short week, that weekend. And, um, it looks really neat. Outstanding. They've even got a whole website dedicated. You can go to peacetreaty.org, and there's tons of pictures of what she's talking about because it's it's bigger than than I think what your mind mm-hmm. allows you to kind of realize. Because just looking at these pictures, you're like, oh wow, they're all dressed up like yeah, I mean, like, like like Sooners. Little you house know I mean? on the prairie oh, yeah. comes yeah. to town, and yeah. you're you're out there amongst them all, and you don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all of a sudden you step back in time. <laughs> 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 so, actually, the government and the Peace Council got together for the Plains Indians, I think in like 1867. So, you had like the Cherokee, the Comanche, mm-hmm. the Apache, whatever. But I don't think back in 1867 that they could wear their Daisy Dukes. Because when I went to a peace <laughs> treaty one year, I saw a girl in her Lehman? Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, loincloths are one thing if they're historical, but the loin. <laughs> That's dangerous when you're uh, driving uh, through the brush. Uh, that's great. That's great. Knock it off the park. Splinters. Oh, it man. Hurt. Yeah. Okay, let's talk rodeo. Yes. Let's talk rodeo for this goes uh, in was, the wrong direction. Uh, <laughs> Dayton, you said 12 teams? Yes, 12 <laughs> teams. Um, so your first place winner was Haywire Cattle Company. And the Jones! <laughs> and then uh, second place, which has kind of been, um, you know, popular for us and they've been competing well this year is eight over quarter circle and stinson ranch and then third coming in on third place is lonesome pine so now, uh, lonesome pine i think already qualified didn't yes, they and, and i think so did eight o- over quarter circle, okay so and i don't think the haywire has been in, been close haven't they a couple times very much i think this might be their first time that yeah, they've first went or second. okay yeah. yeah so they're a really good family yeah and callie and uh who's andy's wife you know, they're all handy as heck. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, they're bronc rider. I'm not going to give him any play. <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> good guys. Excellent. We're excited. Excellent. We're excited to have them back. <laughs> yeah, so they'll be back here in November. Man, we were talking about this the other day on the air. Uh, just yesterday, we were just talking about how 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 soon it is. You know, it's just a few weeks away now. Yeah. It's too scary. Was it, it, was it, this, was it an early November last year or was it mid? Like it's this seems second. like it's earlier. It's always second. So, okay, all right. It just seems. On the 13th, 11th, yeah. 10th. See, yeah. Just the. It seems. It seems like it came around quicker. Like well, earlier in the month of November. <laughs> it is sneaking up on us, yeah. gals. Yeah. It's gonna be here like two shakes. It's coming. Yeah, it'll be here real soon. Real yeah. soon. Uh, what well, do you want to call it? You want to get Andy on the phone now? Yes. I'm talking to Andy, and then we'll go over the rest Mr. of the results. Jones. All right, hang on. And on the phone, we got him, Andy Jones of uh, Haywire Cattle Company. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, thank Andy. You, thank you. You got the crew here. How are you, Mr. Lehman? We're good, man. We're good. <laughs> he, he, We're so good. So he, glad you guys got qualified, bud. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate that. So let's talk a little bit about Medicine Lodge. Sure. Uh, it it uh, sure was friendly for you. And... Um, we got a little news that you kind of, you kind of ran ran the house. I mean, the whole time it looked like you guys jumped out there in the lead on the first go round on Friday night, and you just kind of stayed hooked with it all the way through. So, just talk to us a little bit about how uh, the the team got together and and how the rodeo went for you. You know, it was just I guess everybody has their weekends when things just kind of click and feel good. And- and, and it was just one of those weekends where things clicked and everybody felt good. And, and you know, after the after the smoke all cleared and everything was announced and it was over with, we were on the way home and visiting about it a little bit. And, and it's kind of like Quinn said, he said, you know, I feel like we we just kind of were on track and feel pretty good going into Amarillo. So it was. It, it was a, uh, it was one for the history books. That winning that rodeo kind of meant a lot to all of us because all of us had kind of been chasing that thing for a little bit, and it's been somewhat elusive to us. And it was, uh, of course, it was the 30th anniversary of the championship, so we were sure tickled to have it turn out the way that it did. Say, hey, hey, Andy, it's Casey. So uh, those little things like that that come mm-hmm. into play on a team, you know, this. <clears throat> Speaking from just knowing Haywire for a while now, they um, for you guys out there, they're all business, but there's something special about Andy and his crew. They find the meaningful side of things. There's don't think get me wrong that they're not competitive, but you're not going to find a more patriotic group of cowboys and ones that believe in our country and are proud to be American citizens. And it runs down to their kids. So don't think that just because he went over there and skunked him in Medicine Lodge did not think that the, he didn't have a reflection of how he got there and all that. So I learned a lot sure. from Andy and Jones and Callie and, and that whole team about how to be humble. And Andy Jones is a very humble man. So there I go. Well, I now you can pay that. me my $50, Andy Jones. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll put that in the mail to you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, just tell Callie I'll buy her a beer. It'll be good. Well, we have to give you guys, 
we have to give you guys some kudos because that second night in this uh, in the pinning was a little rough for everybody. <laughs> yeah, and it, yeah, it was... we we actually watched that back on the video on the way home. Quint's wife had had videoed that, and my goodness, now <laughs> we had to silence that video because it was it was getting to the point it was going to break the glass in that pickup on the way home. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. it what it, was going that on? I, uh, it was just you know and. and Go ahead, Andy. I guess the 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 really neat part to that is I've we've got both of my step boys on the team this year, and and it so it just it, it meant a lot to Callie and to me and and all of us to be able to, to get qualified with both the boys on there, and yeah. you know Jake's kind of coming into things and and making an awfully good hand, just like his older brother, and we've we've had a lot of fun. That's that's what it's all about, actually. You know, we've we've done this radio deal. This is our first year to do this, and it really, it you know, we love working for WRCA and and WRCA Foundation, Andy, which you know. But the the mm-hmm. cool thing about getting to do this radio show is talking to all of our our different ranches. And Casey, how many times do we see that? You know, kids, grandkids, everybody's kind of pulling together and and getting on the card and competing and having fun and passing that heritage down it, it's yeah. really a blessing andy to be able to get to live this lifestyle isn't it oh absolutely you know it, and it, it it's kind of funny that you say that because i guess it was after uh after claremore i guess that first radio we went to and and we we missed winning that thing by a point or two there and we we're on the way home and and our twin girls you know they'll, they'll be six on christmas and mm-hmm. they've been fortunate enough and we've been blessed enough that they've, you know, this will be their fourth year back down there. And when we were driving home, Kendall said, so when do we leave for Amarillo? <laughs> I said, well, honey, you do, well, we're not headed there yet. Well, what do you mean? Yep. we got to go back to Amarillo. So, you know, it, it runs so deep into such a young age. And there's so many amazing things that that organization stands for and, and it, it gets instilled in those kids from a very young age and then it's neat to watch you're not the only family it was kind of funny because uh tyler wolfolk had texted me and said that coop and Ryder were like so uh that swimming pool at that hotel so you guys need to qualify so we can go back yeah. <laughs> and it's like yeah. i think the kids put more pressure on you guys than, than anything oh yeah um, sure. But I did get a text from Kent Wolfolk yesterday that says, when I talk to you to tell you they're all proud of you and that that part of the country is rooting for you. I tell you what, that, it, you know, and, and it runs so deep as to all the teams who are a part of that organization. But, but those guys are very good friends of ours. And, yes, and you want to talk about a class act from the ground up. Yep. I mean, that. It, it, those wolf folks and Snyders are, they are absolutely class act people. Well, they're rooting for you. So not to put the pressure on you, but that count, those sure. two counties are like, get them, that gummit. Yeah, no pressure here. No pressure. That's okay. Well, make sure to add some pressure to Callie and tell her Casey gave you a hard time. Because, you I know, will. she's the she, brains of the operation. She, she's the brains and she's the looks. And <laughs> You're right. I'm putting you That's on. That's what I was going to say. No offense, Andy. I'm but, teeing you up, Andy, yeah. to do the right thing so you can give her this to her for Christmas. <laughs> right. Talk, talk yeah, about she, uh, Kansas being kind of a, uh, a tight neck group. You guys know, as well as anybody, that come Thursday night at championship, whenever uh, the announcers start – this rodeo up and they start t- asking where everybody's from, you know that the uh, Kansas contingent is going to travel and they're going to be loud and they're going to be rowdy and they're going to be rooting for their, their, their boys. So it's going to be fun. Andy, we're glad you made it back. Yes, sir. We're, uh, we, we're always so amazed that, that we were lucky enough to make it there, but we're going to go make the best of it and have fun anyhow. Well, I'll tell you, now I'll just give Justin kudos. That's that bronc rider I was talking about. God bless yeah. him. Got to love to give him a hard time. That's the only reason why. Uh, I have to give him a hard time. Uh, if I don't, he'll seem he, to be like, why didn't you give me a hard time? We're awfully proud of him. You should be. Awfully proud of him and, and his brother both. And you bet. They're good kids. and Heck, they're not kids anymore. They're not. 
They're how, not. I'm starting how making me feel now? like an old man. How old are Justin's they? Twenty, Justin's 22, and, and Jake will turn 18, uh, I guess, during the finals down there. Oh, oh that's boy. Cool. Well, Watch out. Throw him a birthday. I think... I think his birthday's on uh will be on Friday, I believe. Well that's right an on. awful time to have a birthday when you're at the bring on the chappins, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why he's got yeah, a well, lot that's... of leggings to get through. <laughs> well, we'll I can only imagine what's gonna go on back at the stalls. <laughs> yeah. Well might not want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so good. So last question, I think, anyway, here, kind of wrap up, Andy, let you get back to work. But now that, you, now that you know you're qualified, I don't know the number of days, Casey, we're 40-something <laughs> days out or whatever it is. Three what weeks. What do you guys, how do you, like, kind of continue to prepare yourself for November? Is it, do you, do you just get back to work and do what you do? Or is there anything that you'll try to to do as you get closer to kind of tune up or how, how does that work? What's the game plan? Yes, yeah, sir. For the most part, you know, I mean, it's just get out of bed and go to work every morning and do your job. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of times um, when we're doctoring cattle on traps and outside and different things like that. Well, at least for myself, you know, I'll, I'll kind of try and put myself in that, that frame of mind, you know, where you're, riding in a pen in front of however many thousand people in the strike <laughs> gathering and thinking, okay, I, I got to make this one count. And it just, it, you know, and a lot of the, those, those better horses that we're going to take down there to rodeo on, we'll kind of lay off of them things a little bit and not take a chance of getting them things hurt and tore up. And, you know, just do, we'll, we'll try and get to the open pen a little more um, and, and just talk about things and, and try and keep yourself in that, in that mind frame, I think this will be our, uh, this will be my fifth or sixth time down there. And Clint's, fifth. we've all been down there several times, but it, it, I, I don't, it, it does not change the butterflies that you get in your stomach when you come through that tunnel. Mm-hmm. And it, 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 that is just such an, <laughs> that's such an amazing platform for, for somebody like myself to be able to, to perform in that it, it's kind of a, you know, cause we're just ordinary guys out here trying to make a living. And it's a, it's a whale of an organization and the things that it stands for and the, the reverence and the patrioticness that, that happens down there. It's just a, it's a cool thing to be a part of and, and you can't help but get butterflies in your stomach. And it's kind of like Clint said, coming home, he said, Ev, what, it all, what it all comes back to is roping and riding. And, you know, the guy standing right next to you has got those same butterflies in your stomach. And you got to put your mind in the right place and, and get back to the basics and just do what you do every day. Yeah. I concur with everything you said. And that's what we try to preserve. And that's our mission. And we have exactly mm-hmm. 30 days for you to get that, oh God, to get days. yourself together, Andy Jones. <laughs> did you really just say 30 days? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I, did. I didn't want to have to do, to do in 30 that. Days. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you have a lot my, to do. <laughs> my wife told me you know, last night, because we were talking about motels and this and that, she said, holy cow, if we're going to qualify, can we not start trying to do it a little earlier in the future here? <laughs> did yeah, you say the last, try? Yeah. Heck, the last three years, it's been... It's been right up there at the very end. Of course, we don't go a lot. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's been right up there at the very end before we've got qualified, and it kind of kind of puts things in a pinch because you yeah. got so many things to line up for down there, but you also got a lot of things to line up for for being gone for almost a week. They do push the limit. It was funny because last year at Coffeeville, last rodeo, well, second to last last year, they won that rodeo at Coffeeville, which is coming up, and. uh talked to Jackie before Medicine Lodge and she says okay you guys just let me know who wins and all that and so I texted her and I told her and she said oh the guys are excited because Haywire usually comes and stomps everybody here because they wait till the last she said but what a great team (laughs) like they meant it nice not in a bad way sure yeah Jackie called me Sunday morning and and she said well I hear there's congratulations in order yes ma'am thank you and she said you're kicked out of coffee, though. <laughs> I said, oh, come on, Jackie. I said, 
we've won that thing the last two years. Give us a chance to defend our title. And she said, I can't do it. Got too many teams at one end. And so, well, I understand that. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you and, tell- and Jackie does a great job putting that rodeo on down there, and, and as all of them do, you know. But I guess I got to give kudos to Jackie for the job that she does down there. Absolutely. Well, hey, man, good job. And make sure Callie gets those hotel rooms booked. And use yes, tell, her, sir, I will. tell her to go through that booking service we got on our website. That way you get the best yes, rates. Sir. Yes, you know, sir. Will do. Callie's going to be like, uh, Andy can do it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let Callie do you it. You know, sometimes sometime she's not overly fond of my hotel choice. So <laughs> I think I'll just leave that up to her and then. He passes no out the aching. flea and tick collars as all the people walk through the door. Oh, we're all going to be in the same room, and here's your flea and tick collar and your flea and tick collar. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> here's your bedroll. Knowing my luck, that would be my pick, too. You're a good man, Andy Jones. Thank you. Hey, if you need well, anything, holler at us, Andy. Yes, sir. Thank you all very much. We'll see you. Thanks. Take care. All right, look at me. Before we forget, top hand, top horse. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Good I'll job. I'll bring it up right out of the gate. It's only taken 21 <laughs> I times. I know. We only have one more week For us to, to get go. this right. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> Top horse, AQHA, thank you very much for supporting our horse athletes here. We got TRR Peppy Kitty. Uh, of course, that, that horse is bred by the Tongue uh, River Ranch. TRR Peppy Kitty. Owned by... Nobody's going to say anything about Peppy Kitty, huh? Just me. (laughs) Well, whatever do you mean? (laughs) Casey has fallen out of her chair. For y'all that can't see what's happening. My, my, just me. (laughs) (laughs) What is wrong with you people? TRR. They named the horse Peppy Kitty, Peppy though. Peppy Kitty. <laughs> owned by Snyder Ranch, ridden by none other than Toby Snyder. Congratulations. <laughs> Top hand was Mr. Colby Stock from Stock Ranch and Felt Ranch. Oh, good. So thanks to Wrangler for supporting our, our uh, Ranch Cowboys through that Top Hand Award. And I'm going to give you a quiz here, Craig. Who did we not mention yet as far as the sponsor goes? Uh, 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 did we mention Wrangler yet? We did. Okay, then uh, the fuel tanks there Titan, you go. Titan fuel Bingo. tanks. Bingo! See, you got this. <laughs> Titan fuel tanks, new sponsor this year that is uh, helping us present our uh, <laughs> weekly winners. So come see Titan fuel tanks at the championship. See their products. Really appreciate all of these companies that support us, and of course our two presenting sponsors that always need to mention Bud Light and Sweet Brand. Thank you guys, all of you, for what you do. It really makes a difference in our ability to. To to really work our entire mission, mm-hmm. not just not just produce the championship, right. but work our entire mission of WRCA and the foundation. So thanks, guys, for your support. Um, this last one looks pretty nice up here in Coffeeville, Kansas. Final final one coming up this weekend. So the final opportunity for is there a, is there a mad dash for this last one? Is there is there some guys that are like going hey? They calling each other, going. You already qualified. You don't need to be there. Yes. Can we take your spot? Yes. Well, <laughs> and kudos to Jackie for how she she runs this deal. It it is their rule that if you've qualified, then you're going to step aside. Oh, good. Yeah, that's and pretty they, cool. They let the next. It is so, the last one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know. So none of the ranches competing this weekend have have qualified. Yeah. Okay, counting. She's taking twenty. Yeah. She. Twenty yeah, teams. She's, she's taking twenty she's loaded. teams. Uh, so that's cool. It'll, it'll be a. Timely rodeo. I, I was going to say it's a one day too, isn't it? Yeah. It's not. A, it's not a two day. They don't split these up, so you got to cram a lot in there for that day. That'd be a good well, day of rodeo. She's, she's pretty good at what at what she does. She's yeah. got good help, so I imagine it'll even with twenty, it'll still be run very efficiently. Because after that, after this rodeo comes and goes, you're talking three and a half weeks or so till the actual finals. Let's see, thirty minus seven. <laughs> I did that for. I literally <laughs> counted the days. She's making fun of me because I was counting like with my finger one, two, three, and I'm like looking at, and then I go back and I wait. It says the eighth was yesterday. That means it's a month. <laughs> well, all I know is we're close, and so yes, the everybody started blowing up Jackie's phone and saying, "Hey, we want in, and we want on the wait list, and we want this," and she's like, "Sorry, books are closed." So. We've got a big challenge ahead of us. 
We're ready for the 23rd World Championship Ranch Rodeo. We'll crown a winner at Coffeeville. Kudos to these guys. And it's funny because the last rodeo, it's a whole different, it, it's like a whole different vibe. They come in the arena different. They rope different, but they don't rope different. It's just like they have a different pep in their step. You know, they're really getting after the Bronx. Don Reno will have the Bronx there. Uh, so he's going to bring what he can. And, and I mean, what I mean, I say that, I mean, he will bring what he can to buck them off. Mm -hmm. Not, oh, let me bring what I can't. No, I'm telling he's going to bring the caliber. So here we go. Yep. One more time. Yep. Get on WRCA.org. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Everything's right there. The website looks great. It's all lined up. As soon as you get on, the first thing you see is get your tickets. And as you scroll down, you, you find the hotel and Hotels, the booking and yep. all that. And Schedule. Just, yep. Everything's right there. Our so. cowboy entertainers. Yep. Musicians and poets are listed out there. Um, we do have one thing. Peyton reminded me. This is kind of exciting for WRCA, actually. We just got word yesterday that um, everything has been approved and everything is ready to go. We now have a WRCA mobile app. Cool. So if you, regardless of what kind of phone you have, Android or Apple, it doesn't matter, go to your app store, whatever that is, and search for us, WRCA. Um, download our app. And, and we're very excited about what we've got out there. It's just a way for us to get more information in your hands easier and more efficiently, but from schedule to results, anything that you might need about WRCA or the World Championship, there's maps of the facility where you can see what's going on in the different rooms, and all that good stuff. So go, go check it out. Just go to your app store, download the WRCA mobile app, and uh, we're very excited about that. That's pretty cool. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, WRCA.org or now on, on your mobile apps, wherever you get your apps from. Just plug in WRCA. It should pop right up. I'm going to do that now, actually. Uh, awesome. Well, it was good catching up with you guys. One more week to go, and then we'll just uh, we'll, we'll be talking upcoming rodeo rodeo stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they all have blank faces now. Because uh, that 30-day thing We're just, just thinking we got to get back all. to the office and get back to work. <laughs> We're like, let's it go. Just, it just We've all. We've been here for too long. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, 